What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video on this one today, Techno Parrot. Arcade controls and shooting games. So we went over all the driving games, not all of them though. Um, there was still a handful to play, um, but at least you guys kind of get an idea of the driving games. Again, on this one we're going to be doing um, games that use the arcade sticks. Um, just a quick note about the shooting games, um, uh, we don't have the Wiimotes anymore, that whole Wiimote idea was a big fail, um, the driver was kicking my butt, it would actually make my arcade sticks players 3 and 4, it was just a huge nightmare, so basically we ordered aim track guns, uh, right now they are sold out everywhere. As far as the issue with the Wiimotes and the disconnecting, I wasn't using a May flash bar, I was using some kind of cheap generic um, USB IR thing and um, also using a knockoff Wiimote um, so I really don't want to waste my time looking at the May flash bar because I don't know if it works with knockoff Wiimotes so basically I think the best way to do it is that we are going to do the wired aim tracks because they do have a great reputation so we are basically waiting for those to come back in stock um, so basically what we're going to do for this video when it comes to the shooting games we are going to be using a xbox controller for it so it won't be the really great example but we're really going to just try to show off the game and such um so again on this one we're going to look at games that use the arcade buttons a lot of cool ones i mean again that's what's cool about techno is that it's kind of like the most recent released arcade games um i was just playing like this musical one uh it was pretty cool uh but let's start off first real quick let's do dead or alive 5. so gonna press enter while this boots up i actually fixed the exit key the exit does work um on the actual arcade button we don't need the keyboard anymore so that is fixed uh the big thing i just spent like literally four days on it i only have games that launch on this wheel um, i removed any game that didn't work even if it launched and then it like exited i removed it from the list completely only because you see how hyperspin when i press enter hyperspin was still active uh basically i removed that so definitely any game launched in this wheel will play 100 percent without second guessing and such so i'm going to bump the volume we're going to play some dead or alive 5. camera looks good let's play <coughs> Ready? Fight! <laughs> 
Oh, so now real quick, I was contemplating this because I do see how the screen is. It looks washed out here. It looks very bright. Um, this is an edge lit display, so you kind of see like the lighting here. Um, I'm gonna probably uh, bring the camera down just so you get it. Uh, I think after this, I might be doing screen grabs, uh, but I did kind of want to do it at least so you could see the arcade buttons and such. So um, I'm gonna real quick, I'll get beat up and I'm gonna just lower the camera just for this game, just to see how it looks. Okay, so real quick, just drop the camera down just so you could see it. Cause again, I don't want people to get confused and think that it looks washed out. It's really just the camera. Again, we are recording an actual screen. We even have the plexiglass uh, in front of it. So it might be looking a little bit funky, but again, I did want to do it really to show off the arcade buttons. Uh, I'll do one match real quick with this and I'm going to actually bring it back up to arcade buttons uh, just so you can see it. I think that's going to be the best way. Uh, and then obviously, you know, PlayStation 3 and such, we use the Xbox controller, so I don't really need to record um, my hands per se. So again, we'll do one more with the screen. Get Go ahead, knock yourself out. Get ready, fight! to get a counter off this uh apparently this game only has three buttons it's punch kick and then like a counter so that's me blocking too so again only three buttons on this i can exit out literally back now with the arcade um buttons to exit i'm gonna bring um the camera back up um as i do want to keep it uniform so we're gonna bring it back up uh so we'll try another one this one's called fighting climax Again, I literally sat here and made sure that only games that launch will go. So again, right now, Hyperspin is active. I could technically play with the joysticks, but right now I just press enter and I'm not going to do anything. And I know that this will launch. Yes. So that's the big thing. Um, we don't want anybody to be embarrassed if they have friends over and the game doesn't launch. Again, I literally just sat here for a couple of days and just made sure that these games launch and they work. So again, that's what it is. It's very big that you do have to test I each game. Can I now, real quick, somebody did ask me, um, some games are two players, some games are not. Tekken 7 is a one player arcade game. Street Fighter 5 is a one player arcade game. So most of them are two players. Like this I know for sure is a two player game. We can even see it says press start. Uh, but right now, again, I'm only gonna do a one player. And again, they are in Japanese. Don't ask me what it's saying. I have no idea what it's saying. So I can just skip the story mode by pressing start. It's like, see how many buttons are here? So this is a four button game.
Again, these are really cool games. I wish I knew what it was saying. Unfortunately, I don't know what they're saying, but they are pretty cool games. I mean, this kind of has like an older school kind of graphic to it, like 2D graphic. It's pretty solid. So again, I could press escape on the arcade button down here. No longer needed the keyboard. It looks like it was a joy to key key I was missing. So we're good to go on this. Um, this one's pretty cool. I actually want to play this. This is a really interesting game. Final Fantasy All-Star Carnival. Um, originally I had this set to the Xbox controller and then I played it and then I actually realized that we could just set it to arcade sticks. Um, so this game uses a combination of, it's mostly arcade sticks, but you just do need the mouse. You physically need the mouse uh, for the beginning of it. Um, I don't want to scratch his deck, so I'm going to probably just try to initiate the mouse in some way. Yeah, I'll use my hand on this. So uh, this is a really interesting game. It's literally like a, it's a beat game. Like you have to press the button, almost like Guitar Hero. The graphics on this are really cool and the concept is really cool. So like here, I do need the mouse to pick here. So I'm going to just put the mouse on the side. So you can see it's like a touchpad. So unfortunately, I don't know what any of that says. I'm literally just winging it. Again, I have no idea what any of that says. So basically, this here is the actual controller. Um, you only really need the joystick and these two buttons here. You're gonna see, it's pretty cool. I was, very, I was actually playing it for like 30 minutes. Very interesting. So here's our encoder, and then you're gonna see here, so. You want to release it at the right moment. Joystick, see? Anything yellow is the joystick. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what button you're pressing, but you can see the joystick. Up, up, down, double.
Okay, and that was Final Fantasy. As you can see, that was a game that was actually using like, it's like a, a beat pad. It was really cool. I mean, definitely would want to continue it. I just don't want, I don't know if the music's gonna screw me up, uh, but it's a-okay. Uh, Guilty Gear series is pretty cool. Uh, it's another fighting game. I don't want to go too many fighting games, but there is a lot. Um, I do want to show you kind of like high resolution games. There's a couple of weird ones too. Um, let's try this, Caladris. So pressing enter on this. So again, like I said, this right now, I could control hyperspin, but in reality, in the background, the game is loading. And there you go. Like I said, I know 100% these games will load. So you doesn't have to worry. Anybody doesn't have to worry about it. Um, you know, it's just something that I, I, you see how the system is and you can see all the stuff. That's like a 1942 shoot 'em up style game. I always refer to 1942. I don't know why. Um, let's keep going. This was interesting. Arcade Love. This is like. This definitely wasn't made recently. Um, it's just a very odd game, to be honest. It is a two player game, but just whoever designed it is very odd. So I said again, Hyperspin right now is still active, but I do know that this game will launch. There you go. Again, Techno Parrot launching like three things in the background. You're gonna see, this game is very odd. <laughs> so again, no idea what any of that says.
ESL. Just a odd game. Not too sure what's happening now. Interesting. Oh, it's set the demo mode. Is it? No, I'm still in. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, I don't even get to try again. <laughs> GJ, good job. What's happening? <laughs> what the? Again, I, this is one of the ones that I was playing. What is happening right now? What? Okay. Yeah, no. So, like I said, that was just one of the games. <laughs> no idea what was happening there. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, definitely want to show off. Um, this was a cool one. Under Defeat. Controls a little bit. Uh, Interesting, but let's let this load. Let me reset my camera. So like I said, I know that it's gonna launch. Just gotta, you know, let it do its thing. Uh, this is an interesting kind of uh, another shoot 'em up style, uh, very 3D like. Um, uh, control is kind of interesting though. Again, you could do two player on this. It's just like you have to let go of firing to turn the ship. So, as you can see I'm holding it and as I spin, so if I wanted to go sideways, I have to let go. So I'm stuck in this diagonal position, but I have to let go of shooting. And then we're back. But again, pretty cool. Like as you can see, I have to let the button stop, and then I could readjust the copper. Oh, that was just dumb of me. Oh man, I'm doing horrible. That's why you have to let go of shooting, just so I can shoot these guys on the side without getting shot at. No. Oh. <laughs> There's a couple of supers. Like I said, another one, uh, really cool. A couple shoot 'em ups. Uh, definitely want to show off real quick. Um, this new one, this is a brand new one. Under night, there's two of them. So there's late and then latest. Same thing with Virtual Fighter. Um, it might look weird, 
They might look like the same exact game, but there's actually different features. I'll show you what I mean with Virtual Fighter, but let's load up one of these. So under night in birth. So now again, one button, one button only. Uh, let it do its thing. I know it's gonna run. Um, I'll even show you a couple of things that you can do uh, within, like, you know, how to see what's going on in the background. I just really use the windows and the tab key. Uh, and like I said, as you can see, it does boot. So two players on this. Again, it's basically like a 2D um, style fighter. I believe this version, uh, the one I did, it has like only a certain amount of characters, whereas the latest has newer um, characters. So we have four buttons, four button game on this. I like this super enabled. So again, on the control panel, exit out. Definitely want to show you one that was a pain. That was again, this was a new series I just released on Techno Parrot. Um, definitely want to show you, I gotta fix the, um, the icon on this, but School of Ragnarok. Very difficult game to get running, uh, but I finally got it to work. It's a very unique uh, fighting style game. Um, I don't know how to compare it, to be honest, but um, check this one out. Pretty cool. Again, School of Ragnarok. Let it go through its boot. Again, I, I, this game was like, it's on and off, uh, but finally got it to work. But again, unfortunately, I don't know what any of the sayings or whatever the, the you know, whatever the inputs or the menu, I have no idea what it's saying, because uh, obviously, again, it's in Japanese. So this right now is going through a little bit of a boot kind of load up thing. That's asking for like a card. We're gonna put no on that. I assume it says no. <laughs> so now in the settings of this game, it says nine buttons. It's looking for nine buttons. <laughs> Just the fighting play style on this is kind of crazy. I picked this because the guy's chainsaw. <laughs> no other reason why I would pick that. So again, no idea what it says. But again, the fighting style on this is interesting. Watch this. So this has like, if I switch, I can switch what character I'm attacking. Oh, 
きもやるじゃん綺麗でしょ Pure mayhem going on here. <laughs> like I said, there's a lot of buttons to this. Um, my chainsaw makes a weird noise. I don't know why. But yeah, the big thing is like the direction. I'm changing like who I'm gonna focus on. So. So again, like the, the hitting of the joystick, it gets it looks kind of crazy, but I guess that's how the game is. Let's see, let's see. Oh, definitely want to show a virtual fighter. I'll show you real quick what I meant by this two different versions. So for example, let's go to Virtual Fighter B. And then again, I'm gonna do one quick one on a little Virtual Fighter C. So this is like a Patreon game. I wish all Techno Pirates launched like this because you could physically see what's happening in the background. Uh, but unfortunately, only the Patreon ones run like that. like uh, Rey Mysterio, so I'm gonna pick him. Start running now. The mouse, I'm just gonna move the mouse over. Start running now. Uh, paying myself. Fight one. Ready? Go. So this game is a two button game, I believe. Three, three buttons. Punch, kick, and block. Again, that was Rev B. I'm gonna show you real quick now Rev C. So this isn't really like MAM, MAM Arcade. Um, you know, it's not like there's different versions. This one's actually a totally different version. Uh, if I remember correctly, this has like 
different game modes like time attack or something like that again we will look at it this is rev c and then i'm going to end it with uh, virtual tennis very cool game i'm um, not a big tennis freak but an arcade tennis game is pretty cool so again letting it boot so right here i gotta press service so i'm gonna press the load button Basically, it'll just kind of ignore that DHCP thing. I can press the load button again. This way it kind of avoids out that, and then we're back into it. Cool, so. Now you're gonna see this is different. You pick your fighter. So like mode. So as you can see here, this has like game modes. So you can see literally this is a totally different version of this game. This is where you fall down! Fight one! Ready? Go! on that uh, again gonna end it with some uh, virtual tennis so we have virtual tennis 3 and virtual tennis 4 so virtual tennis 4 I'm gonna launch that now you would think like a tennis game is not entertaining I've played this for about two hours very entertaining game I'm not a tennis freak but it's a very fun game And again, you could do two players on this. Here's your singles. This just the volume is low, not too low, but you can just bump it up a little. Gonna make sure no extra players play. Roger Federer. loading cursor here so I'm just going to move the mouse out of the way I mean again the graphics on this very cool I believe it's four buttons you could do so there's like a power hit and then like a, a kind of lob so there you go see so button three is nothing I think it's button four yeah, see. Button four, I'm able to do something. It looks like it's a three button game. One, two, three. Again, I'm not too sure what button does what. Like button one and four looks the same. Ooh, almost. Oh. Oh. No idea how I did it. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Good replay on that. That was awesome. Oh, right on the line. I should have smoked it. Playing the line, playing the net. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> but there you go. So that's virtual tennis. Again, uh, I wouldn't think this game was entertaining, but I think the arcade feel to it is what makes it awesome. So that's like a chop. Same thing, see? Oh, why? Good. Nice hit. Cool, so there you go. That's virtual tennis. 